12D model contains thousands of features, which can all be accessed through the main menu at the top of the workspace. I won't get into specific features yet, but if you select File, you'll see most of these options have a black arrow to the right. These are called walk right menus, and if you hover your cursor over one of these options, you'll get another menu, and you can move further into the menu structure to find the feature you're looking for. Each of these walk right menus have an option at the top which has square brackets. If you're, for example, going to be inputting a lot of data of various file types into your project, you can select this square bracket data input option and you'll get what's called a tear off menu. This menu can be moved wherever you want around the workspace. And just a little tip about these tear off menus. If I select an option from the menu having not moved it, say for example, the import of a 2D PDF, you'll see the tear off menu will disappear. But if I select that same tear off menu, then move it somewhere else in the workspace, then again select that same option, you'll see the tear off menu stays on in the view. So it's a good idea to reposition these tear off menus when you open them. Moving on to toolbars and control bars. Now the difference between a toolbar and a control bar is that a control bar has fields where you can enter values. The main control bars we'll be dealing with are those that are on in the workspace at the moment. These are the CAD control bar. And I'll just pull these out into the view space so you know what I'm referring to. Uh, the text control bar, symbol control bar, and pipe control bar. So how these control bars work is that CAD data will be created with the properties that have been assigned within the relevant control bar. So CAD string data will be created with the properties assigned in the CAD control bar, text via the text control bar, symbols via the symbol control bar, and pipes via the pipes control bar. Toolbars, on the other hand, only contain links to certain features. A good example of this is the quick access toolbar, which I'll pull down. This toolbar contains direct links to creating a new project, opening an existing project, saving your project, and so on. The toolbars that are on in the workspace at the moment are not all the toolbars available to you. If you select Views Toolbars, you'll get a list of all the toolbars which can be used. You can add toolbars using the tick boxes, and to remove toolbars from the workspace, you can either use the tick boxes in the panel or the X close button directly on the toolbar itself. Now, not all features in 12D can be found in toolbars, but those that can will have an icon next to them in the menu structure. So for example, if I go back to file data input, you'll see the icon there. And that corresponds to the same icon on the quick access toolbar for importing data. So when we select that icon from the toolbar, in this case, that same tear off menu will open. Now I'll just put these toolbars and control bars back. And lastly, in the workspace, we come to the views. 12D model has three different types of views. The plan view, which is displayed with a red icon in the top left corner of the view. The section view, which has a green icon. And the perspective view, which has a blue road icon. You can have as many views in your project as you want. And each view of the same type can display different information. Each view does need to have a unique name though. To create a new plan view, select Views, New, Plan. And that will create a new plan view named 2, because that is the next number available. You can see the names of the existing views in the View tab at the bottom of the view space. And by clicking on these tabs, you can bring that view to the front. 
We can rename this plan view two by selecting views rename. This particular view rename panel is prompting us to select an existing view name and another view name which doesn't currently exist to rename it to. There are a lot of panels in 12D which will prompt you for a lot of different information. These icons next to these fields are an indication of what type of information you're expected to fill out. This icon here is the icon for a view. So if we select this top view icon, we get a choice panel containing all the view names in the project. I'll select view two. And to rename this view, for example, to plan, I need to type this in because there isn't a view with that name currently in the project. Then select rename. And you'll see the plan view now has the name plan. So I'll finish this view rename panel. And you can resize this view by left clicking and holding on any of the corners or by selecting the last icon on the plan view toolbar, which is the view controls icon. Then from the top image here, picking the button which corresponds to where you want to fix the view to in your view space. So I'll select the left hand half and the view will automatically size to the left hand side of the view space. We can delete the view by just left clicking the X in the top right corner and then select yes to confirm. And we'll go through what each of these other icons do in the plan section and perspective view toolbars as we progress through the course.